Welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you guys are joining me today. And if you recall correctly, just a few months ago, you remember the Democrats passed that new legislation that included 87,000 new IRS agents to make sure they find with they would go through your financial history with a fine tuned comb, 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 comb to look for your $600 transactions. That's right, and tax you on all of those $600 transactions, even though. Our major institutions within the United States, things like the Pentagon, cannot seem to locate $2.2 trillion. They failed another audit. Their fifth audit in a row, they have failed. And yet we still continue to feed them taxpayer dollars because why? So they can continue to funnel that money elsewhere? I guarantee you, you can find if we actually had actual uh, people to go in there to actually audit this, actually people from the outside to actually audit, we could probably find the money. The money's probably funneled into so many Democrat coffers to ensure that more Democrats are voted in so that way they can continue to fund them money so they can continue to fund it to, oh my gosh, it's just maddening of how these institutions continue to get away with it. And if you were to fail an audit, you'd be in prison. You would be sent to prison, federal prison. They fell out it. That's no big deal. We'll just cut them in our check for another trillion dollars. Absolutely ridiculous. So before we dive into today's video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button. If you're new here, thank you for joining me. Allow me to share some info with you. Hopefully you can share it with your friends and family. Smash that like button, 1,500 likes. If you like the content, you like the video, you like the channel, smash that super thanks as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Coming to us from a political insider. It says, Pentagon admits it cannot account for $2 trillion again. That's right. A typical ground hall day fashion, the Pentagon has failed yet another audit. Yet, for the most part, nobody seems to care in the media or government. When you fail year after year, it becomes the rule versus the exception for failed basic standards. The recent failure makes it fifth year that the Defense Department has failed to meet the audit requirements set by Congress. That's right, dear reader. Your former, your former War Department can't fully account for all of its assets. So how bad was it? Well... If you ask the lead money man on the five-sided building, it wasn't that bad. I mean, it's only a couple trillion dollars worth of stuff that we can't find. It's not that bad, right? It's not that bad. It's bad. Of the 27 agencies audited within the Department of Defense, only seven received a passing grade. That's right. Only seven. That means 20 departments that are under the Department of Defense failed their audits. They failed. They could not locate the money or assets. They have no idea where it's at. Oh, got a pretty good feeling where it could have gone. And yet, there's no outrage. No outrage by the mainstream media. No outrage by other government officials. And of course, there's no outrage in the country because nobody knows about it. Nobody knows about it because they're too busy following their favorite sports ball team to even care. To put some dollar amounts to that, only 39% of the $3.5 trillion in assets are accounted for, leaving a deficit of about $2.2 trillion in assets unaccounted for. Do you remember what happened last time the Pentagon was under investigation for misplace of trillions of dollars? Oh, that's right. 9-11 happened, and the whole conversation changed, and we did not even look into it. Remember, they were having hearings. They had the uh, Donald, Donald Rumsfeld in front of Congress, and they were grilling him about it. Then, like, the next day, we had 9-11. And nobody talked about the missing trillions of dollars from the Pentagon any longer because we were launching the war on terror, uh, launching trillions of dollars into the Middle East to go fight the baddies over there as our country continues to fall apart. It's absolutely disgraceful what is taking place. But yet, there you have it, $2.2 trillion missing from the Pentagon, and nobody cares. Anyway, I care. I know you guys care. Can we make the rest of the country care? That's why I think. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Of course, you guys can follow me on all my social media, including Odyssey and Gab. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, and of course, leave a let's go, Brandon. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Have a great, great day. Mm -hmm.